All right, so hello everybody. Welcome back to another uh, Jingle video. In this video, we're gonna uh, wrap up, uh, almost wrap up, I should say, how our e-commerce site is in Jingle. So today we're gonna talk about Jingle testing. Uh, just a quick disclaimer here: we are not gonna write the testing test for all the features because our e-commerce site do have like a uh, some extensive features, uh, and some of them I'll I cannot like record all of them just to write tests for all of them, but maybe I will upload the source code for the test and I'll test most of the features for our e-commerce site. But for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna demonstrate how like um, Jingle tests work with authentication. So how can we confirm somebody has logged in, uh, registered and logged out correctly, for example. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and get started. With that, uh, and also I will leave this documentation description down below if you're interested to read the direct documentation instead. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's go to this test.py here. Uh, so test.py is going to be created for all of your projects, uh, not all project, all of your application, as to say, within your Jingle project. So here's where you can edit your test. All right. So first, let's. We just need to go ahead and say. I, I'm gonna constantly referring to here because some of the syntax stuff. So in here, we're just gonna create a class and let's just call this a syndication test case. And it's gonna inherit from this test case class. All right. And then first, we can define some setup. Some setup. So setup, maybe what's going to happen is in here, I can just say from models import user. And maybe in here, I can just say, let's go create a new user first. All right. And then, for example, user going to have a username. Example, example.com, email, where password. Is the example. All right, for example, uh, that's lots of example I use here. And then in here, it can also say profile. So from dot models import profile. And in here, we can say something like profile. Let's say dot save. And then user equals user dot objects dot get to example at example.com. And in here we will say uh let's see oops let's say user ID row equals zero address city state country zip address city state country zip let's go ahead and save it anything else we need to what about setup yep that's pretty much it okay now it's gonna do, now this is set a function, this is just like an init within the, like a Python class, but set up just specifically for Jingle testing. And also all the stuff, that all the models that we add here are the models instance, it will create it in a test database. So it's gonna be separate from our production database. Okay, so in here, let's go ahead and say test. So for every function that you want to actually let the Jingle to run the test for, you will need to add a test underscore in front of it. And then what's your function, what's your name, what's your rest of the method name pretty much. So here, we'll actually define a helper function. We'll say register here. Actually, we need one more thing. Uh, let's see. We need one more thing here. So what I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna say a client here. From jingle.test Alright. 
And here, let's just say self.client equals to a new client instance. So we can do like this get and post request. So registered, what we can do is self.client.post. So we want to just say slash auth slash register. Right? And then what's data doing to provide? Oh, we do need to provide a lot of data. And in here, we can just say uh, first name, last name, for the purpose of just going to leave it all empty, email, country code. So I don't know, is there a way to actually do like these valid date? So like, I don't know, is there a way to like get a temporary phone number, get it, get like the message sent? If you guys know how to do that, feel free to let me know this in the comments. But uh, for now, I'm just going to ignore that actually need to do phone verification. Password. City, state, country, zip. All right, stop the post. And then here's the response, response view or something. And then we'll just say assert re.status code equals, equals 200. Actually, no, we're not going to worry about that. That's just, that's something we actually need to write during the actual test. And in here, I say log in. We're just going to do the pretty much the same thing, except we're going to return this RV data. We're just going to do pretty much the same thing. And here we need to take in the password. What did I say? Did I say email? Oops. The reason I create this is I'm just gonna assume all like these authorized and cookie works correctly. Um, so I don't need to check that, but um, let's say username. Is it username? Let's change to that. It's email and password. Okay. Let's go and say test register. Shall we? And then here we just say solve the register. All right, gonna return HTTP response. Here we'll say assert RV the status code 200. Actually, let's, yeah. As drafter that it says RV dot content as well. So we can actually see the content. So let's we'll say test login. This, this is just going to be a relatively short video, I believe, at least hopefully. And then email. 
I'm gonna say this. Example, this I didn't create, which means I would expect some sort of error, right? And then I will try to do one that is created beforehand. And then we'll say print out our reader content. The reason I don't do assert is because I'm not sure which one I assert for for now. But let's just run the test, see if everything works. Spell the test wrong. So Python manage up high test, the way to run the tests. All right, let's see. All right, not an underscore. Fair. Phone number, fair. The given username must be set. Maybe I cannot leave it all blank. Doesn't really matter. Right, let's provide the address to then. Okay, it does have a Twilio issue. Okay, for now I'm gonna ignore register. Let's go directly to login because that's require actual phone number. Is there wrong credential? This shouldn't be print out you into wrong credentials. Because I literally created one here. Let's see what happens if we get all the There we go. Please complete initial to FA first. All right, it looks good. So I'm just gonna assert this. Maybe I have to use a create user here. So here I will just assert. It's binary in here. And this I will say assert. All right, let's try running it again. So if we'll fail any test. Okay, all right, so I know this is a pretty simple video, but I just want to, to get introduce you to the testing. This is a way to test. Uh, we can use a client to send a post request or a get request somewhere. And then here we can actually say something like redirect equals true, which it follows like the redirection, HTTP response redirect that you set up there. Uh, Excuse me. Yeah, but this is pretty much how testing works. Automatic testings. Uh, basically, it's just unit test, test your applications. 
uh, I'm maybe going to write the uh, complete uh, unit test for all the features that we, uh, that we implemented in e-commerce site. Maybe not. Depends. But that's just a brief introduction to like Jingle testing. I will leave, leave the full documentation in the description down below if you want to see in more detail. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed this short uh, video. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have any uh, questions or comments, feel free to comment down below. Again, we'll link the source code in the documentation description down below as well. Please check that out. Uh, as, without further ado, as always, thank you for watching my video. Stay safe and have a nice day. That was me. Out.